Happy weekend. This is Kurt Berglund here with you um, with another game of Pine Tar Baseball. We are replaying the 1982 World Series Retro Sports Network style, uh, which features the Montreal Expos versus the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, the pitchers in today's ball game will, this is uh, game three of the series. The series is tied at one. Uh, we begin at Montreal's Olympic Stadium. Um, game one went to the Expos by a score of four to two. And game two went to the Orioles by a score of six to one, thanks to a five run ninth inning that blew the game open. So we're one one, uh, returning to Baltimore's, or going to Baltimore's Memorial Stadium. Uh, for Game 3, <clears throat> the pitchers today will be Scott Sanderson for the visiting Montreal Expos and Jim Palmer for the homestanding Baltimore Orioles. Each man is making their first appearance in the series. The batting orders are as follows for the visiting Montreal Expos. Tim Raines leads off in left field. Al Oliver bats second at first base. Andre Dawson bats third in center field. Gary Carter bats fourth and does the catching. Jerry White bats fifth and does the designated hitting. Tim Wallach bats sixth and plays third base. Warren Cromartie bats seventh and plays right field. Chris Speyer bats eighth and plays shortstop. And Doug Flynn bats ninth and plays second base. Scott Sanderson is the pitcher for the Montreal Expos today. For the <clears throat> Baltimore Orioles, Al Bumbry leads off in center field. Glenn Gulliver, no sign of the Lilliputians, but Glenn Gulliver bats third, bats second and plays third base. Ken Singleton bats third and is the des designated hitter today. Eddie Murray bats fourth and plays first base. John Lowenstein bats fifth and plays left field. Cal Ripken Jr. bats sixth and plays shortstop. Dan Ford bats seventh and plays right field. Joe Nolan bats eighth and does the catching. And Rich Dower bats ninth and plays second base. For Baltimore, Jim Palmer is the starting pitcher today. Game three in any seven game, well, in any series, but in any seven game series is very important. So let's see who takes this important contest in Baltimore. Tim Raines leads off against Jim Palmer. Palmer is an A pitcher at home. The pitch to Reigns. He swings and lines one. That's going to get over the head of Dan Ford. Bounce off the wall, and it's going to be a double for the speedy Tim Reigns, the Hall of Famer. Al Oliver bats second and plays first base. The Expos have a man in scoring position already. Oliver sends a grounder to Ripken at short. And Cal... Makes the play with Reigns holding at second. There's one down. Andre Dawson bets third and tries to drive in the run. He's been a star for the Expos so far in the series. The pitch to Dawson is a base hit up the middle. Bumbry does not have a good arm. That will... Encourage Reigns. They're going to wave him around third. The throw home is not in time. The Expos lead one to nothing on an RBI single by Andre Dawson. Gary Carter with a man on. Dawson on first and one out. And Carter lines one to left field. Lowenstein moving to his left. Look at Dawson go. He's going to make it all the way to third base as the throw comes into second, and it's first and third. Palmer in early trouble.
Jerry White, the infield is back. Jerry White is at the plate. The pitch to White. He struck him out. That's a first strikeout for Palmer. And two outs. Wallach. Tim Wallach. Stepping in against Palmer. And he sends a grounder to Ripken at short. Cal will flip to Dower at second for the easy out. And that's it. But the Expos score one run on three hits. There were no Baltimore errors. And they take a one to nothing lead into the bottom of the first. Al Bumbry leads off against Scott Sanderson. Bumbry draws a walk. He's on board with a walk. Glenn Gulliver, nobody out. And Gulliver hits a shot at Dower. Dower goes to Ripken and Cal drops the ball, making the exchange. So one is all they'll get. Gulliver's on first with one out for Ken Singleton. A double play candidate, if there ever was one. And Singleton strikes out. Sanderson got him with a big, big curveball. Eddie Murray, man on first, two outs. And we have a range check, our first range check of the game. And let's see what happens here. That's a 17. That's a check for Cromartie, who makes the play. And the Orioles are scoreless in the first. So we go to the second with Montreal leading one to nothing. It'll be Warren Cromartie, Chris Spire, and Doug Flynn, the bottom third of the Montreal order. Here in the top of the second, Cromartie leads off with a walk. Spire. In against Palmer. And that's ball two. Ball two to Chris. No strikes. Ball two. And the pitch to Chris is a looper that's going to drop right in front of Bumbry. Cromartie speeds to second and holds there. Doug Flynn with men on first and second. Doug Flynn steps in against Palmer. And he's going to try and lay one down. He does. And bounces it to Gulliver. Gulliver makes the play to first, but the runners move up. So the ninth man in the order, Doug Flynn, moves the runners to scoring position for Tim Raines. The Baltimore infield is back. The pitch to Reigns is a base hit to right. Here comes Cromartie from third base. He scores. Spires around second. And he will hold it third. First and third. One out for Oliver. Infield is still back. Earl is getting his Chesterfields out. And the pitch to Oliver is a strikeout. Palmer with the high heat. Two outs. Dawson at the plate. First and third. That's Spire on third. Reigns on first. One run in already this inning for Montreal. And Dawson strikes out. Palmer gets in trouble, allows a run but gets two strikeouts to get out of trouble. But it's 2 nothing Expos after one and a half. John Lowenstein, slugging left fielder for Baltimore, leads off, and he strikes out. Sanderson's got the slow curve working. Cal Ripken Jr. He swings, and he lifts a fly ball to center. That's Andre Dawson. Two down. And Dan Ford stepping in against Sanderson. 
And it's a fly ball to right. This is going to be Cromarty. He snags it. And that's three. After two innings, the Expos lead 2 nothing. In the top of the third, we have Gary Carter, Jerry White, and Tim Wallach against Jim Palmer, who's been shaky. There's ball one. The pitch to Carter is a base hit to left. He's two for two. Jerry White is 0 for 1. He struck out against Palmer in the first. White against Palmer. Rolls 1 to second. That's Dower to Ripken to Murray, and that's a double play. Tim Wallach. Two outs. Wallach hits one deep, way back to left, Lowenstein to the wall, but it's gone. And Montreal adds another run. It's 3-0 Montreal.